Hi, my name is Manya and I'm a weaver. I create work on a old uh, machine called a loom. It's a wooden structure that you control everything, so you put all of the strings on by yourself, one by one. Um, usually I have of like a thousand strings that I'm threading by myself, and then you are creating a textile um, by passing the thread back and forth. I grew up in Iranian American culture, and um, I was growing up, you know, looking at books that were very you know, detailed, and I had little boxes that were hand painted, and I was very like exposed to um, handcrafted things, even though no one in my family was an artist. My dad, he encouraged me a lot to uh, follow my dreams. He came to America when he was 17 on his own um, and always said, just like, do whatever makes you happy. <laughs> I use this, uh, this old technique to create work that seems and looks futuristic. I also like to incorporate things that are very unconventional, like uh, wood and um, light. <laughs> uh, so I have here this light table that I made. Inside of it, actually, I can actually open it. <laughs> but in the inside of it are all of these LED lights and um, an aluminum foil tape, and then there's a plastic covering. I used fishing line to weave with, which is everywhere where you can see the light, uh, there's fishing line. And also the black material is a thin black cotton, uh, and then the red as well is like very thin. Like while I'm weaving, I'm thinking how are these black threads going to show up when there's light underneath? My advice to you is to try experimenting with new materials, try doing things that you may be nervous you might not be very good at. Getting out of your comfort zone has been very helpful for me and I think it's very helpful for artists in general. Hi, my name is Andrea and I'm an artist and teacher with Tennessee Craft. My personal area of interest is textiles, so I really enjoyed hearing Manya talk about her work and her creative process. Now when we say textiles, what we mean is cloth or fabric that's been woven. It could be woven with natural or synthetic fibers. And Manya talked about how she likes to use non-traditional materials too. But before she started doing that, she had to learn the basics. And so today, we're going to be doing a craft that focuses on the basics of weaving. Let's get our materials. You'll need four things. Scissors, straws, tape, and yarn. Now to get started, we're going to tape our straws at the base, just like this. Once you have them taped, you're going to determine the length of your weaving. I'm going to do mine for my wrist, so I'm going to cut them about a third of the way just like this. And this is how I get started. I'm going to take my yarn and find a gap between two of the straws and slide that through there, leaving a little bit of a tail, maybe about eight inches. And then I begin the process of weaving using the over-under method. So I go over, under, over, under, over, under. And as I weave, I'm going to push my thread, my yarn, down to the base. I'll continue that until I get all the way to the top of my straws. You can see now that it's complete and I would like to remove my weaving from the straws. To do that, I'll take three pieces of yarn of equal lengths. With each of these pieces of yarn, I'm going to run them through each of the straws. If you need help from an adult, this would be a great time to ask. Once you have all three pieces through the straws, you can see here, as I hold it up, you have four pieces hanging down on each side. To remove 
the weaving from the straws. I'm going to tie off two of the strands here and two of the strands here. So you can see that now we're ready to remove it with two knots on the ends. Just gently push the weaving down to the end of the straws and off of the straws. And you will have it transferred to the yarn. Now you almost have a complete weaving. All you need to do now is tie off, just like we did at the top, two strands and two strands at the bottom. Then you will have a completed weaving. This one is a good size for a bracelet or cuff, but you could also use it for a bookmark or make longer ones as belts. Use your imagination and have fun. You can even do like Manya and start to use some non-traditional materials in your weaving. For more information about this activity, including step-by-step -step instructions, tips, and tricks, please visit TennesseeCraft.org.